Pick Your Own Farm operators are reporting a strong demand for all local foods this spring. And one of the favorites, as always, are fresh strawberries. New social distancing guidelines require fresh fruit containers for every customer, hand washing stations, face masks, and working every other row. I love hanging out with my family and I realized that we need to wash our hands and keep our masks on, but it was just fun to get out of the house and do something nice with my family. How many did you eat? More than I picked. <laughs> we don't have any problem coming out here today. I think they've done a great job of having sanitation stations so that you know that everybody is washing their hands and you're, you're out in the open, you can maintain your distance away from people and it's still a great thing for the kids to do. Demand for pick your own strawberries is strong, but like everything else this year, things have changed in the strawberry patch. Some growers are holding lotteries to determine who gets to go picking on which day. Others are focusing solely on pick your own fruit instead of other agritourism activities. Normally we don't uh, let people drive to the field, we use wagons, but we fixed the road so everybody could drive in their own vehicle to the field so, and park right near the field. That was one of the biggest, biggest changes and of course if we can't do, uh, we used to have fun activities for the kids and everything, and, but that, that, that's out of the question right now. We're allowing pick your own only by appointment. Um, so folks are going onto our website the day before, and we're allowing a uh, couple of groups in every 10 minutes. Uh, and that way we can spread folks out through the day. And then we're uh, socially distancing in the patch by uh, starting out. Uh, we, we bring folks in and put them on every other bed uh, to pick. Strawberry growers across the state have plenty of customers. Yankee has both pick-your-own berries and other farm produce and fresh beef. He can't keep up with the demand as consumers look for local supplies of their favorite foods. We've got some uh, beef cattle, some steers that we've just finished, and I normally have to work fairly hard to get them all sold, and I didn't even, I didn't do anything this year. They were all sold with, without even having to work. And we've got some, some feeder pigs that'll go later in the summer, and, and our biggest obstacle on that side of, of things is getting kill dates at the local meat plants because they're just overwhelmed as well. Now that Virginia berry growers have implemented new social distancing guidelines, many expect customers will have to follow them for at least most of this growing season. We're prepared to do this all the way through strawberry season, which we don't know. We never know how long strawberry season is going to last. Last year it went into July and I hope it does this year, but we're prepared to do this all the way through. We just hope things get back to normal for our fall season, you know, where we can do the wagon rides and activities. Strawberry season in Virginia typically runs until early summer or when the weather turns too hot for the berries to thrive. That's followed by blueberry, blackberry, and raspberry season, and then summer fruits like peaches and apples. Pick your own producers are hoping for a great season and asking folks to follow social distancing guidelines as long as they're needed. In Chesterfield County, Virginia, I'm Ricky Gibson reporting.